Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Friday. It's a couple minutes after 10 o'clock on the West Coast. We are in beautiful Arlington. Welcome to Helping Our Mini Equines Mini Break. And today we wanted to take you around and meet our new crew again because now we have names and we have correct genders and correct ages. And uh, we had a big vet visit yesterday and it was super fun. Hi, Lori. How are you? I'm good. Okay, who did we have here? So, right here we have Ranger. Um, and he got gilded yesterday, so we just let him out. He was um, kept in overnight to keep him quiet, and now today is all about moving. So, uh, for those of you who are not horse familiar, gelding is the same as fixing. What we do is we take away the boy bits so that it's their testosterone... It's neutering. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. So that their testosterone can go down. They can't make new babies. But most importantly, it allows us to give them a much broader social life. They can be in mixed herds. They can be with lots of other um, animals and not feel nearly as aggressive or out of control so uh, we were super happy to get ranger fixed yesterday how yep. old is he two and a half so he's just a little baby he is and he's cute as a button, cute as a button and really sweet he's a little bit of takes a minute to catch but the moment you catch him he melts into your arms so mm -hmm. big fan of ranger um, assuming his gelding uh, heals up nicely it, which we are confident it will then he'll go into our training program and once that completes he'll be ready for adoption yeah okay all right next we have Romeo um, because he is a Romeo um, he is just a baby what did we say he was? Two to three, I thought. Yeah, two and a half, three years old. Um, and to we... To be determined on yeah. uh, gelding or not gelding. Yeah, we were told he was a gelding. We can't find anything right now. Um, but there's a little suspicion, so we're keeping an eye on him, and he's staying in with the studs and the gildings right now. He does have a lot of studly behavior, but this little guy is such a sweetheart. He wants to come snuggle you and love you, and that's why we named him Romeo. Yeah, so look at that blue eye. It's just mm -hmm. so adorable. So um, the, Romeo was originally, because we thought he was a gelding, kept with the mares. But he, uh, when, when Lori said he had studly behavior, what she was talking about is he was fighting and mounting and being uh, very stallion-like. So uh, we asked the vets to check yesterday because we couldn't feel anything. And um, there's no scar. So we think we don't know what's going on. We're going to check again. The vets will be back on Tuesday uh, to do some more work for us. And we'll keep you posted. But Romeo's uh, super oh. sweet. He's going to get through our training program very, very quickly. Yep. Uh, but first, uh, we will not clear him from medical hold until we're confident of his gelding status. Yeah. And we can, um, you know, do a blood test and, and yeah. see how much testosterone and that exactly. kind of thing. Exactly. So. Okay. All right. Let's go over to, I think this might be your favorite um i love dylan yeah. i think he's handsome dylan um he is named after marshall dylan uh we're in a western theme uh he has beautiful blue eyes and Crazy flax eyes. and mane yeah. and tail yeah. and he's a little scared but once you get him he's very sweet all of these guys are really really sweet just haven't been handled very much yeah. so we'll take care of that um especially with all the all the stuff we're doing he is a stud he also is two and a half and um we did not gild him yesterday but i think he's on the list for tuesday correct yeah so, so we'll see how that goes yeah making sure he feels perfect because uh, we don't geld until we're we're 100 confident in their current health so he's been feisty and eating everything and playing lots and lots so uh, very probable that he's going to get gelded. He's going to get a little bit more training um, only because he's not confident being caught. Uh, once he's caught, like Lori said, he just melts into you. In fact, we only have two, I would say, that are difficult after being caught. And that's only because they're terrified of humans. Yeah. And so, that's, And that's really a slightly difficult. Oh, I fair think, enough. Yeah, I fair think enough. because... Um, once we caught them, they, they led well, um, but they just needed a little extra support. Right. Yeah. They, they didn't feel um, 
they didn't feel calm to me. Right, right. They were more trembly. They were more uh, on guard. Yeah. So only two out of the entire nine, I would tag that way. Right. Um, the the other seven range between in your pocket, sweet, mm-hmm. and just you know want to want to be convinced that humans are okay. Right. But let's go talk about Tucker. Okay. So Tucker is an adorable little Appaloosa. That's the um, white on the butt. Yep. I love him. I think he is going to be something very, very special. Um, he's also very young, right around yeah. the three-year-old. Yeah. Um, and he got gilded last yes. night or yesterday, yesterday. as well. Uh-huh. Um, so he'll get uh, the ex- the forced exercise, and we'll be watching him, but he's doing really, really good. Okay, so wait, forced exercise sounds pretty <laughs> pretty frightening. So okay. wait, wait, what do you mean by forced okay. exercise? When I mean forced exercise, it means that... I'm encouraging them to move, not them just moving around on their own. So what we do is we'll come in here and we'll walk calmly behind them and just getting them the first day or so we just have them walk around. Um, For 10 minutes. Yep, 10 to 15. 15 is yep. even better, okay. like three times a day yep. is perfect. Um, and then after a day or two, we'll, we'll kind of encourage them to trot. Right. So we might kind of kind of jog with them a little yeah, bit but it's, it's not like forced bad no, 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 word no, no, no. it just <laughs> means that we are asking them to move and and the intention here is that we know when we get 10 15 minutes a few times a day the blood flow to the surgical site improves yep. and they heal much more efficiently and effectively we limit the risk of infection yep. and we shorten the healing time yes so there you go so let's uh that's the four in here let's move over to our next paddock we're going to go over to the middle paddock now um we thought we had a mix of geldings and mares and stallions when we got this group in from texas but in fact we have three mares and nine stallions well was nine now it's seven since we gelded two um so in this group we have three the three mares and two babies we knew we had one baby but we didn't know we actually have two we also have had two gender changes (laughs) Um, so so just for everybody's education when we get the horses in from especially from texas where they've had a long drive to get here we try pretty hard not to handle them for the first week Mm -hmm. we don't want to get up on top of them you know get next to them too much because we just want to let them rest and catch their breath so we had one uh which we thought was a uh gelding we were told it was a gelding the paperwork said gelding yes Yes. and that is currently called willow yes she's gone through a couple names since we thought she was a boy but when the vet was here yesterday they were putting uh, the thermometer in for a temperature and went this is not a boy this (laughs) is a girl so Lori and I got a great laugh out of that. How old is Ms. Willow? Mm, Ms. Oh, she doesn't remember off the top of her head. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, we're not paused. We don't have it off the top of our head. We'll have it's all the... It's on the website. Yeah, it's on our website. Yeah. Um, she is hard to catch, but once caught is very well behaved. Yeah. Uh, she was ridden before. Correct. Um, and we saw we believe. videos. Well, we saw videos yeah, of her true. being ridden. True, true, true. Um, but um, probably not her favorite thing. Yeah. And we did, once we confirmed she was a girl, we did ultrasound yesterday as yes, we well did. to make sure she wasn't pregnant. Because uh, we don't want more babies. But if we have anybody pregnant, we will do everything in our power to get a safe delivery. Yep. Of course. Of course. So she's going to have some fun with our training program because we're going to teach her that humans are a source of good in her life. Yep. And uh, she's young enough that I have no doubt we'll be able to do that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you go to our website, I've got some cute pictures from yesterday where she was just snuggling in with one of our volunteers. Yeah. She yeah. just she really did uh, trust and she's very, very, very sweet. So. OK, so let's move. Uh, <laughs> shall we do the two in the back and sure. then we'll do the babies? Yep. OK. So we're walking up here to Bella. Bella. So Bella is quickly becoming coming one of my favorites. Um, she's a very sweet girl. She's had a lot of um, a lot of handling in her life. She's been ridden. She's pulled carts. She's double registered. She's kind of a done it all kind of girl. Pretty sure she's done birthing and had yes, babies. Yes, I'm for sure people. she's had babies. Yeah. Um, 
and and she's just as sweet as she looks right like that um you can walk right up to her love on her she yeah. enjoys it um she was excellent for us yesterday perfect yeah um we did uh do a blood test on her yesterday to see um if she's ppid that which is similar to cushing's if if everybody knows what cushing's is uh, the way to think <coughs> about it is it's a metabolic disorder that can happen to horses at any point but is more common as they get older mm -hmm. and it is something that we find is very treatable um, the, you get some things like excessive coat in a coat that gets yep. quite, quite curly. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can treat it and extend their comfort and life quite easily, you just got to throw some money at it. Yeah, and it's not that it's not that expensive. Um, and uh, she's well so we're worth waiting. It. Yeah, we're waiting to hear. Waiting what to her, find out. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's Bella, and she's twenty in her twenty. Yeah, or, yeah no, 20. she is twenty. She we is have papers 20. on we have her. Papers right. on her. Okay. So, yeah. Let's move over to Miss Emma. All right. Sleeping Emma. Our sweet Emma. Yeah. So, so go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> okay. Sorry. We're, we're getting pretty good at this. Uh, at least we think we are. So here's a couple of things to know about Emma. We She's about three. She is a female. She is not pregnant because she is the other one that we did an ultrasound on because uh, we had been told that she had been bred. We have also been told that she has been ridden. She has behold carts. And if you look at her face, you can see the marks of a halter. We believe that um, a halter was put on her once and left on. Uh, once I saw it in quarantine, in our quarantine location down in Texas, we, I asked Lawrence to pull it off, which he did for me right away. Uh, those marks may never disappear. It is uh, very deep. Now, the good news is we don't believe she's had any nerve damage, which is the big fear with that. Um, she is skittish of humans for sure. Yep. But again, once you catch her, she's like, okay, I can handle this. Doesn't love it. So she's going to get some training, yep. um, but she'll get there. Especially because our training program is focused on being comfortable with humans. That's yep. goal number one. Number two, can you put a halter on? Can you walk forward? Can you walk backwards? Can you lift your feet for the farrier? Can mm -hmm. you be calm when the vet's here? Yep. That's what we think is necessary for a civilized family member. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to have everybody certified before they leave Correct. us. Yep. And uh, we do know she is very thin. Yes. Um, several of these are very thin. We are aware of that. We are, um, they're on a refeeding program. Right. So um, you will see as we go along them get better and better. And yeah. Put so some more, more weight on. Yeah. So the refeeding program, we first start with get them used to our hay. Then we add as much hay as they can consume. Yep. Then, long as long as they're not um, severely emaciated. Right, right, right. That would uh, be a different. This level. That of, would be a different. Th yeah, program. this <laughs> level of refeeding. Yep. Um, and then we start adding alfalfa, mm -hmm. and we start adding higher calorie grain, like senior. But we do this over a period of weeks because you can certainly cause a horse great damage by doing it too quickly. Yep. And um, you don't, you, you just take your time. Yes. We're not in a hurry. Right. Okay. Right. Babies. And our babies. <clears throat> so both of these, uh, the one on the left is Winston. Winston. And his little buddy there is Bandit because he's got black. He looks like he's got a black let's, mask. Let's go around and see. There, there we he's go. He's starting to look. Hey. There you go. Okay. So we're here with Bandit. You can see the black on his face. He looks like a little Bandit. And Winston is our little Carmelo. And uh, both of these boys are still studs because they're only five months old. Yeah, they're, they're just li little babies. Yeah. Um, very thin. So um, we have a plan with the vet on them. And um, right now they're very, very sweet. And a lot of times when they look like that, they are very sweet. Yeah. Um, but they are studs and down the road when they're feeling better and have some more weight on them, they could be a little spicier. So yeah. we'll see as they grow, but right now they're just really sweet and, um, we're just going to do everything we can to support them. Yeah. So these guys being so young will not be available for adoption for a while. Yep. Um, so we've got to get their weight up. We've got to give them time to grow into their full personalities. And as Lori said, when they are mature enough, we will geld because we will not adopt anyone without gelding first. Correct. 
and then we'll see so you can expect these guys you know not to likely be available at, for adoption till their okay. year and a half or two um, they're going to be a long-term residents of ours because again we want every animal to go out of here civilized and ready to be a nice family member mm -hmm. um, and they're dang cute they're so cute yeah so those are the babies yep okay let's go over and i'll do gates if you hold this sure and meet orion again sexy orion mm -hmm. you want to talk about how dirty everybody is <laughs> we know yep. that we know that um yep lots of rain here in washington um we are constantly um resurfacing our paddocks and um we had 24 tons of gravel delivered yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> so it, this is a continuous project. Um, but we don't have anybody standing in mud. Hi, Orion. Now look at this sexy dude. Is he the prettiest guy? Oh my goodness. He is so handsome. So, we found out that he's actually pretty young. He's like about three or four. Yeah. And um, he is a stud still, as you can see. See, that's what we mean by studly behavior. Um, he's trying to fight with other, other stallions. Um, and then he's trying to breed all the girls. So um, he's definitely gonna be on our list for gilding next week. Um, but he's very sweet. Even though he's showing these, what look like aggressive behavior he is not like that at all with us right. he walks right up we haltered him easily um, he got his vaccines he you know got lice dusted we do all of these things when they come in we make sure that they all have proper vaccines they're all been lice dusted twice not that we saw any lice it's just our protocol to make sure because you know being at an auction or anything like that they can get that so easily yeah. so we we take care of that right away um, and then they get wormed and all that good stuff so but this guy is one handsome fella let me tell you yeah so his like, you don't have to be that close oh. trust me <laughs> <laughs> so uh you know his life is going to get so much better mm -hmm. when the testosterone is not creating the some of these aggressive behaviors towards mm -hmm. the other horses First of all, he'll be able to be in with other horses, and mm -hmm. that's going to be so much better for him. But he can't do that now because with the boys he fights, and with the girls he wants to make babies. So yeah, so and we'll get that fixed. You know, with him, he's he's a little thin because this is all he does. He yeah. paces around, he looks for the girls, he fights with the boys, and he doesn't spend as much time eating as he should. Um, so once he gets gelded that's gonna that's help gonna him. help that and i don't know if you noticed him yawning but that was him trying to release some stress and anxiety yep. you know um and you know a lot of people think oh he's tired but no he's uh, just um he's just trying to release some stress and anxiety pent up in there he's someone he's someone dude <laughs> He's someone who's a little thin. Yep. And this morning I put out a cup of senior. We make it wet so they won't choke. Um, and he ate, I don't know, half of it. He's and just not interested. Senior is Cinnabon to horses. Yeah. Um, so it's the fact that he's not finishing his grain is uh, not good. But that's okay. We're going to get it fixed. Yep. And him fixed. Yep. Too so that, that's the big reason. See, this is what he does. Okay, and let's go over and meet my buddy, <laughs> Mr. Sweetness himself. Yep. Is du uh, Dutton. Dutton. Yep. Because <laughs> we all love Yellowstone. Yeah, there's a lot of Yellowstone fans. A <laughs> lot of Yellowstone fans. So this is Mr. Dutton. <laughs> Blonde hair. <laughs> Very shedding. Hi, buddy. So you see the curly coat on him. You see how curly he is? long coat um, he's really shedding a lot um, he's just gorgeous um, this is one that we really really think has PPID um, like I said kind of like Cushing's Barb described earlier so he's one that we had blood tested so we can find out if we need to um, you know get him on the meds he will get on the meds right away and that will help protect his body and his organs and all that kind of stuff but he is just sweet and handsome. 
And that's a beautiful mane. Beautiful mane. Beautiful forelock. He's just gorgeous. And he's, he's just... going to be amazing when we get him cleaned up. He's lovely. And we found out, he looks so young and sweet, um, except for... Sweet. Well, he is sweet. Um, except for the long curly coat, um, giving us an idea that he could be a little bit older. But we found out that he is probably close to 25 yeah, mid 20s is the current yeah. guess so, so how do they do aging in horses oh there you go well it's a little subjective um they look at all the different teeth not just the you know the front ones that have the um the groove but they have to look at all the different teeth like what's come in uh, what's on its way, what's a permanent, what's not, um, wolf teeth, all these things they add up and that's how they kind of make a, a guesstimation and it's usually fairly close um, but sometimes it's it's a little subjective. So in the younger horses they get a thing called caps mm -hmm. and these caps come off as the adult teeth come in. So in young horses they can age quite care quite specifically right. two and a half, three and a half, four, yep. five. But once you get beyond, you know, get these permanent teeth all in, then it becomes the how bad, how much they're worn. Yep. And then we get into guesstimates yep. of ranges, I would and say. And angles, you and know, angles. the angles yep. of the teeth. Yep. Um, so there's lots of different things that they look at so to when, try to determine. So when our vet looked at this fella yesterday, she, we, we looked with her and it was like, oh golly, two things. One, he's older than we thought a lot. And two, he's first up for a dental treatment because yep. his teeth are in very tough shape. And we suspect he's got little sharp edges on the inside. Mm -hmm. And we'll get those ground off so it'll be more comfortable for him to eat. Yeah. And that will help his skinny because he's too skinny too. Yes. One thing I did learn um, from our vet who does the dentals, mm. she's just awesome, um, is minis, it's very common for them to have like this little step up shelf in their teeth um, and that's supposed to be very common to minis and so making sure to have a dental done that's a step up shelf. it's like uh, where the tooth the front part of the tooth is uh, lower than the back part of the tooth so it's so like it, a wave almost. yeah so it, but it's a mm, it's literally it. like a step okay you know like like Got a mounting it. block step Got it. Got it. Um, so they have to make sure that those are taken down and I didn't know that that was pretty common to mini so interesting that was kind of cool to learn yeah so. the, I knew that minis have lousy teeth compared to other animals because yeah. minis are literally sized down from big horses uh, yeah. that's their bread for the sizing and um, it's different with miniature donkeys, which are a separate breed. breed. Like uh, poodles are separate from German shepherds. Yep. But mini horses are not like that. So, yeah, there you go. Very cool. Hey, that's it, I think, yeah. for today's mini break. Yep. I, I guess I want to say once again, um, I just want to thank our community. Yeah. We have been incredibly um, blessed with volunteers. It's crazy how many people are leaning in to help us take yeah. care of all these animals like 70 and blessed with donors you guys have stepped up to help us we have some massive vet bills coming yeah. with these groups. nine gildings <laughs> um, but you know what i'm neither Lori or i are worried because nope. you guys have been incredibly generous in helping us help these mini equines so thank you yes. two dates for your calendar yep. may 21st if you're on the west coast we are doing a walk in bridal trail state park and Bellevue uh, six feet on the ground so bring your mini bring your big horse bring uh, yourself just yourself and yeah. come and walk with us <laughs> it's nap time apparently here it in is. the morning and then on June July with, 25th Ju July 25th yep July 25th is gonna be our mini Cavalli it will be held in Woodenville a uh, little more central and we're really excited about that that is a big fun event um, with the Frisians and, and all kinds of stuff and minis and so I hope you guys can mark your calendar for that there'll be yep. a lot more information yep. coming we'll do an auction um, and we'll have some fun stuff for you guys to yeah it's our annual fundraising mm -hmm. opportunity but it's also our annual thank you party to our community as much as anything else yep. so. we there is one other date um, and it's June 23 Third, I believe mm. and it's the party in the park for bridal trails um, there's going to be a huge amount of activities there with horses yeah. and um, our minis will be there as well so I hope if you guys are around you can come join us there 
Whew. Perfect. Thanks, yep. everybody. Thank you. Have Happy a great Friday. Weekend.